What is going on, Alpha Hunters? Hopefully, everybody's having a tubular Tuesday. It is uh, kind of a weird day. I didn't expect us to kind of gap down this much. Uh, we were pretty bullish yesterday uh, for the last two hours. That hour, kind of, I do the live stream. We were real bullish. I uh, didn't really think we were going to see that much of an upside towards the end of the day. And I was kind of thinking towards the end of the day, like, yeah, I would be bearish on this close here. Uh, mostly due to the fact of, I feel like it was a little bit overdone just on one day. It seemed like a little bit too much of a pump for one day. But, you know, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have been anything crazy. Uh, I mean, you did see a pretty good pump. So we had a pretty good gap down. There we go. Um, the one thing I would say about the gap down though, depending on which, I guess, which one of the major kind of ETS you kind of looking at to trade. I mean, they were, it almost got into some of these highs that you saw late last week. Kind of like a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday area. Uh, we didn't quite get there on the SPY because where I was kind of mentioning Definitely want to be bullish off of this area around that mid 471, 472. Obviously, you can have a very clear stop loss below Friday's low. So, yeah, kind of got down there. Kind of was hoping to see a little bit more of a drop off on the open. Uh, we didn't really see that. But, yeah, I mean, it got, I mean, it basically gapped right to the area where I, I was kind of suspecting you wanted to be a bullish on. And, uh, yeah, we've just kind of been bullish since then. And,. Um, for now, uh, looking pretty good. Currently, the SP500, the SPY is kind of flat, just a slightly negative, but basically just kind of flat there. Made a pretty strong run about an hour ago, popped bullish and came right back down. So we'll see how it goes here for the next uh, hour or so. The, the one thing I would say, though, is I would want to possibly move stop losses up because obviously this is you know you got the you got the breakdown to a pretty good buy zone it's bouncing i would move stop losses up right i mean if they're down here below friday's low i'd move them up a little bit i just don't want to i just don't want to see it you know reverse and then just trade all the way down so Anyways, anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes here for the next couple days. Q's, uh, Q's had a pretty good gap down. They've traded higher pretty much the whole day. Uh, even more bullish on the open than the SP500 was. So big tech seems to be running pretty good. Although looking here at, at PL is actually down half a percent. So Apple's down. So it's interesting. Let's take a look and see what other things in the Q's are doing well. IWM gap down. Hasn't really had the bullishness. Like the Q's and the SPY have. How much of a gap down was this? So the IWM gap down pretty good. About one and a third percent. Ouch. All right. The DIA gap down pretty good. Hasn't really had a strong bullish day to it either. RSP slight trending higher bullish bullishness. Nothing crazy. Uh, that was, that's, yeah, that's one thing that, I, you know, you didn't want to see a huge overextension yesterday on the bullishness and it was just like second half of yesterday just got a little too crazy for me um just kind of running through here on the daily a lot of major gap downs it's all and it because and here's why i say that because it's almost like we very quickly retested into you know downtrending moving averages right you know you see it very clear here on the iwm Kind of mentioned this yesterday, where this is a pretty good spot to probably go bearish. You know, with a stop loss below yesterday's low or Friday's low. But you can also be looking to take it bullish as it gap down or as it pulled back into the highs of Thursday, Friday. You could go either way. And, and that's kind of, that was what was tough about yesterday getting so bullish. Uh... There at the end of the day, second half of the day, it was a little too much. Uh, the Q's up a third of a percent, looking okay. Spy, yeah, basically flat, but all of them, 
everything gapped down pretty good so i would imagine there's a lot of green in big tech world let's take a look now, nvidia continuing uh it's breakout wow financials and we're gonna have financial earnings start this friday there's a lot of red out there that's why the rsp is not really doing all that much it's just it looks like it's just two stocks really just nvidia and alphabet uh and amazon and amazon a other than that there's not much in the way of bullishness i mean there's other tech tech stocks other tech areas that are pretty bullish but that are doing okay but it's man it's really just like three companies all right vix continuing to drop off okay kind of mentioned this late last week as you know the vix dropped off pretty good on friday maybe that's gonna lead us to have some bullishness or we we're gonna see a pretty good drop as uh, or can or maybe even just can continue lower on the market but it seems like we just got the bullishness yesterday it's pretty obvious dollar dollar continuing uh to consolidate here uh letting the moving averages kind of push it up today looks like it's gonna break higher all right all right that's good and good to see gld dollars higher gold's higher that was weird that's weird so yesterday dollar was down gold was down today dollars up gold's up i mean gold's roughly it's really kind of flat but i mean it opened higher so yeah i'll just still continue to buy any dips on gold gld 10-year yield um kind of consolidating not really doing a whole lot right now 10 to 2 inversion still in an up uptrend but it's getting kind of towards the lower end of this little trend line area so maybe we'll see some uh uh 10 outperform two here soon hmm let's see hyg uh pushing up a little bit lqd pushing up a little bit tlt let's see tlt kind of flat negative gap down not really doing a whole lot okay let's check sector rotation all right sector rotation so what did so well in the morning healthcare looks like it had a pretty good gap up it looks like it had a pretty good gap up so the xlv doing pretty good on the day uh currently second best high performing sector tech has climbed back and took over the best performing sector spot on the day really really strong outperformance here in the middle part of the day okay uh we also got communications outperforming pretty uh kind of in line with the market staples underperforming industrials discretionaries all underperforming as well as real estate utilities and financials materials and energies are the biggest underperformers on the day day so we know energy's dropped off pretty good yesterday we'll have to take a look and see if that's continuing again today yeah man look at energies xle Whew. so i just took out the gap so the gap's gone so now you can see just pure intraday performance yeah, you can really see the energies dropped off xlk makes sense that it's kind of at the uh, best outperforming spot intraday real estate also outperforming there staples industrials communications Healthcare, discretionaries, utilities, financials, and materials. Out underperforming. So, yeah, you can really see early on healthcare was doing really good, and it's just dirt throughout the day. It's just constantly fading, give, giving it back on performance. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to take a look at crude oil, man, because, geez, why is, uh, why are we giving back so much? Well, crude oil's bouncing. Okay, so crude oil is bouncing. Is gas gasoline's bouncing. Okay, so those are both having good days. Heating oil, heating oil's bouncing. But energy stocks, energy stocks are not doing well. Okay, 
So energy stocks, Exxon down 1.25%, 1 and a quarter percent. They had a bounce pretty good yesterday, uh, but looks like they're just, they're dropping again today. Chevron, ooh, Chevron, that's a pretty bearish engulfing candle there on Chevron. ConocoPhillips. Breaking down. Marathon Oil breaking down. How's the refiners doing? Refiners are still breaking down two, down 1.4%. PC. Um, yep, down one and a quarter percent there from Marathon Petroleum. Phillips 66, down half a percent. So. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Uh, energy stocks getting hit harder than the commodities. Commodities actually performing pretty well today. Let's take a look. I'm going to take a look at just run down the sectors. See how these guys look between last week and this week. So, yeah, real estate did pretty good last week on Tuesday, but kind of came back down. Jumped pretty good yesterday. Gap down pretty good today, though. Materials are down, making new trending lows today, getting below yesterday's low. Materials, XLB, okay. Industrials, nice gap down here today. Not really doing, man. Man, does that look like it just retested yesterday? Retesting here like three, four days in a row. Looking like it might get pushed down by those moving averages. Financials. Financials hitting highs yesterday. All right. Financials, XLF looking pretty good. Energies. Yeah, we looked, we've talked about energies. Crude oil started off this year all kinds of wonky. Well, not even just crude oil, just energies, commodities in general. Utilities uh, started out this year pretty good. Look at that. Uh, most sectors, you know, they dropped last week, but utilities got bought up last week on Tuesday, continued higher into Thursday, a little bit of a pullback day there on Friday, continued higher yesterday, but uh, have a nice little pullback day, day to day. Uh, healthcare looking pretty good also. So, so that's, and that's what's interesting. You know, you look at, you look at the three safe haven sectors, utilities, healthcare, staples, they all look really good. I mean, staples was very strong there on Tuesday last week. And they pay, they pulled back pretty good there, you know, into Friday. But they haven't, I mean, they haven't broken their trend. It's looking pretty good, staying above that 10 EMA. Looking very nice. Discretionaries, though? I mean, look at discretionaries. They dropped off. You can say they just retested yesterday into the moving averages. And maybe they're going to continue back down because, I mean, now they kind of had a pretty good gap down today, discretionaries. Communications, um, retested into the 20, bounced pretty good, obviously into yesterday, a little bit of a higher high today. Yeah, okay. Communications don't look that bad. XLC. XLK, yeah, we know last week tech got absolutely hit pretty hard. So X, the XLK hit pretty good, pulled back. Bounced very hard last uh, yesterday. So yeah, I mean, just anyways, the the three the three risk on sectors that XL, K, C, and Y don't look nearly as good as staples, healthcare, and utilities. And that's gotta that's gotta mean something. It's like oof. If investors are are you know saying hey we would rather be in safe haven areas than risk on areas or safe haven sectors are looking better than, than risk on sectors then that you know you kind of kind of like look at that and say "Ooh, i don't really know if i if i like that uh spy g spy v uh which is very interesting why this is up so much but it's up it kind of looks like it might retest into the bottom of this Kind of support level around 139. It's a very rapidly got here in the past two days. XLY, XLP. Where, 
Where is this sucker at? Uh, discretionary for staples. <clears throat> so, this was a pretty good support resistance zone for this pairing. Obviously, we broke, kind of broke into into it a little bit throughout December, but we came down so hard at the end of December and last week that i mean this week's gonna be really important because did we break out and now we retest it into these highs and we're going to continue higher or did we just retest a little bit too high and now we're going to continue back down this week and next week's really important for discretionary staples which then might be really important just for the market as what you're talking about like risk on risk off and where you're wanting to be in the market itself so uh Probably we'll keep an eye on discretionaries and staple relationship here uh, for the next uh, probably a week or two. Because, yeah, if we start to get back down and breaking down, that might just be a very clear indication. Yeah, you're just going to want to be in risk off or risk on type areas. Okay.